wonder if LGD Gaming may like to go the fuck once again again. He would be a very, very powerful uh, for them against the Lycan, Jakira. Interesting. Pick for LGD in the meet. Really, just again comes down to it's that nature's prophet's order. That's like a trend amongst a lot of these teams that are running it in China, or if. Just a kind of a unique thing earlier from me. No support in Aegis Profit has been run by other teams internationally. Usually we see him in the office. We'll get that, uh, that thing here. Or particularly at Jakira. Still kind of caught up on that as well, so either side. Most information given away, despite uh, how developed we are with the draft. Honestly, life st uh, life stealer again would it be the great. You are still doing with the Lycan matchup. Life stealer would his rage would would be okay this game. But even Bane Fiend's group. Radiant you know, team back. Brewmaster! Yeah, they go Brewmaster. Leaning towards that support nature's profit to go with the Witch Doctor. Brewmaster, of course, a decent matchup against Ten the base. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Or he was playing a fair amount. Error Blade is the final man. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I guess Terra Blade, the, the threat of Terra Blade is still overall skip. How much do you sell, set up right now? Yeah, I suppose they could run a mid. To pick. So bang. D. Both teams going to the very end of reserve timer here. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Storm spirit. Here it is. Seems like an okay storm. There is decent catch on the side of BGJ Thunder. Remaining. But overall, you know, great courtyard half like in. Thunder, who do they go in response? Gonna have to be a quick one. Again, not the most reserved on the work with again. So you may now select your heroes. Leshrac. Gotten to see a fair amount of Leshrac recently. OG actually specifically over in the European region has been running in their qualifier there so they were running as a core less track mid less track now will it be the 
Yang's gonna be playing the Sand King. So it is gonna be an offlane Sand King. We'll be our Jakiro Bane supports and Leshrock going to be core here. Does have great stun set up for his split earth. Magic damage to go along with the physical presence Ten of Lycan. Throne Spirit, of course, remaining. could be a little bit of a pain for him. I like it, though. It does make sense here. All right, so VGJ Thunder. Somewhat unique finish there, but trying to force a third game against LGD. Sorry, guys, if I am slowing down a little bit here. A long night. Broadcast at 2 a.m. Second of three, best of three. Unfortunately, a uh, longer game with a pretty long pause in between. But we are going into game two. That's what matters. Now let's look at that win percentage. 50 50. Prepare for battle. Oh. Really? Lord Gaben has decided. Now, this is a very even game. First time I've actually seen it like that. Ah. Oh, but quietly going to the dire favor. Oh, no. Back. Now, the lineups are uh, pretty even on paper. Stats suggest. Thirty seconds to battle. Begins. Be Jakiro and Sanking up here at the top lane going for the bounty rune. They actually will manage to pick it up. Chalice managed to get the bottom one down here with Ninja's Prophet. I'll take your tribute. The seeds of fortune. So it does end up being a 2 2 bounty rune split. Middle lane. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> kind of caught off guard by this. All of a sudden, Lycan's up here. Lycan versus a Storm Spirit here in the middle. That means Leshrac will actually be at the bottom lane. Interesting. So they want to get Leshrac. And this is a case, I mean, Leshrac versus Storm Street is really Radiant that bad for him. But Sylar, I mean, I got to figure this isn't the friendliest matchup for Lycan and I there in the middle lane. Now. Deal with that remnant constantly. Interesting decision coming out here. Leads me to believe this has more to do with the bottom lane than anything. Lycan against the Brewmaster, Nature's Prophet wasn't going to be a well lot either. So, yeah, this this was overall going to be a difficult laning phase for Lycan. It kind of gets a little bit more of a better one, perhaps. And a little Leshrick to have a good time at the bottom, but top lane seems like Jakiro is just spam and harassment, as you would expect. And open some farm for actually. No, wait, Yang's playing the Jakiro. So they swapped it up at the last second. So it's Yang on Jakiro. And he's going farm priority, okay. Interesting. Playing the offlane Nyx Assassin earlier, and now playing the, the offlane Jakiro. Usually these heroes that we see more in the support role recently. <laughs> so wanted to have more of a Jakiro impact this game. I mean, this does mean the Sand King's Blink Dagger will be perhaps more delayed, so make priority. Yeah, that's what you figure. On Jakiro instead, and whatever he decides to farm towards. We're from the Rod of Atos, Forest Staff, Yules, etc. Things like that. Blue 
Top lane, Yang's in trouble. Maledict is up, that's an easy kill. First blood going the way of LGD as a team. Good TP in as well from FY playing the Nature's Prophet. And yeah, seeing Nature's Prophet in more of this supportive role. Again, it does definitely give him more of the freedom to use the teleportation aggressively to look for kills. Chalice, by the way, bottom lane. He couldn't even have a salve. He pops a fairy fire for the time being. Running away, not going to be enough. Oh, the salve is in the last second, but yeah, got taken off immediately. And then killed after. So good pursuit, though, from BGJ Thunder. Kill happen. I can't have you. Middle lane matchup. 17 and 3. Thorin Spear versus a Fortune 1 Lycan. Sadler is actually managing decent here. In the middle lane. Uh, there's a TP coming in, but Somnus. The so less Shrek, how's he doing bottom? He's 9 1, does have an assist at least next with Dallas overall is having a better time. Leshrak is going the Diabolic Eater. Like, I will say S4 playing the mid Leshrak recently. He's been going more of that QE build. Uh, Lightning Storm. Honestly, he's even maxed out that. Was well, maxing out that first. For Leshrak. In this case. Freeze going the Edict. At least the one point in it for now. See how he progresses with it. The idea that they're going to push objectives. Physical damage in general. Middle lane. Well, that's just running after Storm Spirit, and it's not going to be a kill in the end, but backs him off completely. Although he's being clapped on Bane coming in for the side. He did not see that coming. He just runs in and brain saps him. Oh, Somnus had absolutely no clue what's happening. Free kill for DDC. However, Cask Bounce doesn't go back to him. Maledict going to be put up as he's TPing back to base. It's not enough to him. Now keeping in late as well. Bane survived. Ami, meanwhile, having a fantastic time top lane, of course, on the tiny. To work with. But yeah, middle lane, Silar, he's got that, uh, yeah, it's the three wolves even. Doing very well in the middle. Top combo, Yang lives. Oh no, the Wan Yus and now Ame's in trouble. Just not enough first damage. Fading on the Pearl Strike in three seconds. There's a dual breath and should set up the kill with the Pearl Strike. Yes, they get it. Meanwhile, Siler goes down middle lane though. Thank FYTP Sin Som this credit for the kill. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Well, at least slowing down the tiny, but. Darn Spear picks up, you know, it's his full lightning. And it's just Prophet really moving around. He's got double fairy fire and orbit venom. Potential. Can I use that here against Bane? <laughs> Hanging out as if they want to make you play bottom lane. Saiyan King is worth getting in. It's three versus three. Wish Doctor, he's nightmared up initially. Gets stunned with a Pearl Strike. There's a Brain Sap follow up. The split it does connect. And Wish Doctor is going to fall most likely. At least got the Malady Top before. The downhill attack finishes the job. But they do kill Saiyan King in response. So far, one for one. Chalice still chasing, though. Another Thunderclap coming out. But the Split Earth will keep him in place. Meanwhile, top lane. Somnus rotates in and gets the kill on Jakiro. With the help of Tiny. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Tiny even doing most of the damage there. Looks like he's wanna start that off and then eventually you see Storm Spear flying in to secure that kill back to the bottom lane. By the way, Chalice is dead. <laughs> Look at the death recap. Thanks, Dota Plus. Oh, FY, what are you doing? FY going D, but well, this was the plan. Saw this, it was a beat all along. Going for DDC, he gets the FY's dying to fade though. So at least Bane making the best of it. He actually levels up Sandstorm right here with the Maledict. He's not getting away from this one. Ends up being a double kill for maybe. Okay, Somnus. Rotating in. So a lot of back and forth fighting, but this this Storm Spear is now 4 1 0. He's starting to get he's scary. Comes to a snowball ass. I 
Lycan does have the Helm of the Dominator finished. Smasher in hand. Flame, Shakiro. Be fine. Tiny. I'm just being well gonna take a stack here. Movement top lane. Team in the area. Fade coming in. They're gonna go on a tiny. Tiny was not expecting these numbers. Again, gonna be picked off, so good rotation from Thunder. Why? TP in for the bounty rune. I'll take your from middle lane. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Even she's gonna run at them. Here's up. Dallas is level six, so the primal split ready. May use it here. Somnus coming in. Yeah, he's gonna go in. Jalus running with a better class. Gets it off. Yang's in trouble. Yang's definitely dead. DDC will TP out. No Vortex just yet for Storm Spirit. Top lane, Siler goes down actually. The Aircraft is Ame in response, but now FY boarding it as well. The Maledic. One more tick left. It, it is going to be enough damage. Oof, that was close. Hex Nova, level 2 Maledic, just secures that kill. So 9 to 8 hero kill lead in favor of Hoji only 9 minutes into this game. An action of plenty, but it, it seems like it's no doubt favoring the dire team so far. Leshrac. He maxed out Slither first, and now he has a level 2 Edict, pushing bottom tower a little bit, but not enough damage. Prop will port in and prevent more. But yeah, this Storm Spirit already has power treads. Like he's just gonna go right into a Kaya. This is gonna be a very early Kaya power tread build. Storm Spirit, 4,700 net worth. Finished. Meanwhile, Jakiro and his progress. Again, prioritizing an offlane Jakiro and farming everything. He's trying to work with it. Heals now. Freeze bottom lane. The core racks in trouble. Problem split. No, missed the Burl Strike, by the way. On a nature's profit. Freeze gonna survive for now with the split earth, but the rock hits. Of course, magic immunity. The key right there gets the kill on Leshrac. Fade. He's gonna hide in the sand for now. Any way to get him out? Try the purge, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> he Pearl strikes away. He's good for now. Another TP coming in. And that's the key for LGD to start falling back. back maybe Chalice, he comes back together. Almost has got a point. Is that fight still hanging around? Here comes Witch Doctor now. Meanwhile, Siler does L3. There's in the middle lane during this. Pearl strike in, Fade's going deep. Maledict on him once again. Chalice in trouble. Fiend's grip locking him down. Finishes off Chalice. They are going to at least get the turn kill zanking, maybe more. Somnus, he kills Southern middle lane, and now he's at the bottom lane, looking for some more. DDC, Brain Zap, and one second nightmare. No, it's not going to be enough. He goes down. They do kill Witch Doctor, though. And now Somnus in trouble. Somnus goes down. Big five kill streak stopper. Freeze gets credit for it. That is exactly what Thunder needed. Oh, this was starting to get so out of control for the Storm Spirit. But killing him, especially with Leshrac getting credit, absolutely huge. And he's still sticking around to push this bottom tower. Level four Edict is now here. He's running at him with the Pulse Nova. They kill the tower. And both Chalice and FY just have to run, uh, fall back. They have big kill in the Storm Spirit. He actually had a full bottle there too. He just simply couldn't get a tick of it. So it goes back to those against Sand King. More the position Dyer's for his Blink Dagger. Still a little bit off before we can see that, but 2100 gold on Jakiro, so a Yules is coming nicely. And also on Leshrick, actually. Probably Yules. Work with. Looks like Jakiro, though, he actually decides to go drums first for the beat. Whoop. They try to smoke up middle landing. He's exposed by Somnus. Hanging around too long, though. Split Earth on top of the Ice Path. And the Brain Sap, the burst damage is enough. I was afraid for a second they were not staggering their stuns the best, but they did. And back-to-back -back deaths on Storm Spirit. Again, absolutely key here for the Radiant side. Thomas really was starting to get out of control. There's the Blink Doe, picked up a Chalice, playing the, uh, playing the Brewmaster. 
Prophet will throw out that Wrath of Nature. For a middle push, Chalice goes in, gravel split. He's looking for Freeze, the tower goes down, but at the cost for Freeze's life, it looks like. Again, a split Earth hits, but not enough. Catch there. Now top lane, you can't forget about Ame, who, by the way, stun's gonna hit Sanki. Cask over here hits Bane. Death Ward's put down, doing some okay damage. They're running pretty far, though. Solomon is looking to finish this off on TDC. Will do so. Vortex. Not to be leveled up just yet still, but the Remnant's more than enough. And now as a team, they're gonna push this top tier one. So like it, even despite 0, 3 and 4, is actually managing pretty good net worth. He's up there with the best of them on the other side. Power Threat, 1600 gold saved. Death Wars, Necrotomicon. Ame choosing to go Blink Dagger first, by the way, which he has enough gold for and needs to stay alive, though. He does. Radiant team to chase, though. Or is he going to change now? He does go the Blink. I was wondering if he's just going to go Shadow Blade for instead, but... Picks up the blink for now. And he's gonna show it off right away. Go off the 220 DDC, and now Fate is also in the area. Tiny, he's got plenty of support, gonna be caught in the ice path and the Macrofire. So Ami may go down, doing as much damage as possible before Chalice on the run. And yeah, it's only gonna run so far. Maudic will take down the Sand King, though. Multiple people dying, what on earth happened? I mean, four heroes actually end up dying on the side of LGD. All in the area, so. That AoE damage, plenty full. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Over here now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning. Dyer's structures are. The Yang's completely changing up. He had the Yule scoot up initially. Instead, he goes the drums and the helm of the Dominator. Radiant that's what we're gonna see now. So that's gonna be their second one. Radiant's or Hood of the Fires. What am I saying? <laughs> now, that, that makes a little more sense. I was gonna say a second one with the Dominator, but well, Hood of the Fires is actually coming out here. And a pipe would be okay in this game. Would be pretty good. Rame, middle lane. Oh, he gets killed, but the Death Ward finishes off Leshrac, so an eye for an eye there. And look at that bounty for Witch Doctor 578. Witch Doctor Somnus, Porty Middle, uh, Tomlin, even Silo, though. He was nearby, but now it's Chalice as well. Primal Split. They're gonna catch Yang. And the throw up onto Lycan, actually, from the Sword Brulin. They purge him on down. DDC is also in the area, though. Has his Green Dream? No, he does not. Puts a Nightmare up, though, on the Somnus. The auto attack to finish the job on him. So again, Somnus going a little bit too deep. And too much lockdown to deal with. So he falls yet again, Witch Doctor. He's now running back. The heals just enough to keep him alive for the time being. Also has 17 wand charges. Just can't do enough by himself here to stop Lycan. Nor can he stop being. This game has definitely shifted. And it really all goes back to this bottom lane, despite down here. Where Lycan's, uh, not Lycan, but uh, Leshrac ended up coming back into the fight because of how long it lasted and killed Somnus. Uh, threw out a couple of stun lockdown. And because that, that stopped the five kill streak early on in the game, it got a huge bounty for Leshrac. Seemed like it opened up a lot of room for the Radiant side, because now you have the Yules finished. Link on the way for Leshrac. Lycan also got a lot of open room to work with, and Silar is definitely making use of that. He almost has his level three Necronomicon now. And of course, Storm is, with those four deaths now, is being delayed a little bit more towards getting that Bloodstone finished. Is actually still a fair amount off. Full soul booster. Now the arcane boost out of this play. The way Chalice is caught. Shapeshift used for this. The fiends get locked in as well. Brewmaster gonna die throughout. And they also got the witch dock here. So Beach Day Thunder finds more. They're gonna go right into the Roshan pit. Things just completely shifting the other way now. Oh, 
LGD gonna try to make a push bottom lane for the time being. Ame hasn't been able to make too much use of that blink just yet, and here come the TPs now, so Freeze picks up the Aegis and the Arcanic Crypt and Fly. Dominus Ellis will escape, but Aegis Prophet, he's dead. Lashrax actually changing his mind. The way things are looking now, he's insisting on going to Bloodstone, which of course is very good for a lot. Double damage! Seemed like he was initially planning to kind of react how the game was playing out and going to try to get a blink to help with more follow up, but oh, figures he can start scaling pretty well now. Tanking has his own blink. The hero, the Hood of Defiance, and the Pipe is coming. Radiance top tower is under attack. Double damage run on Tiny. Oop. Well, I guess he just was going for the big wave, but he might end up dying because of that. They just all of a sudden collapse on him. Yeah, he did not realize so many people were nearby. I think he just assumed that he was just gonna farm and his only hero, but Radiant's not the case. Dead five heroes show up and they just run him down. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So easy Dyer's middle tower middle kill, and they may just keep going, because why not? Leshrac, Edict level four. Got an Aegis. Yeah, they're gonna keep going. You have fortification. We're gonna use it here. Buyback on Tiny already. Early on in the game. I have to though. Siler does not have a shapeshift. That could be the same in Grace, but they're still going. Pipe is this going to be used. They're pushing Racks at 19 and a half minutes, but this is definitely a lineup that can. Here we go though. Jakiro is going to be the target of choice initially. Nice Nightmare also stalls the damage from that Death Ward puts the Ice Path down. This primal split from Brewmaster doing what he can. But they got them in the Racks, now they're looking to get out. However, Lycan's caught though by the Storm Brewing, but there's too much support. The entire team does not want to overcommit. Meanwhile, the top lane, FY was pushing it in this whole time. Back to the middle, Sidelarm. I'm right, trying to help keep him alive once again. Maldic is up. Too much distance, though. Unless Tiny can catch up, but it doesn't look like it. Great retreat coming up for the Radiant Titan. And actually, Yama, he went too deep. He's caught by the Yules. A split that he put down. Chalice goes in with a Thunderclap. But he's going to be Fiend Scrim now. The cask eventually comes out to stop it. But already, damage is done. Tiny's fallen. And now they're running after more. Shapeshift ready to go once again for Salar. He's hunting for Chalice. He's not going to be able to get that blink off. Too many attacks happening. Fiend ran out. Thundercloud's not going to save him. It's just looking ugly now for LGD. This game was, went from being so good for them to the complete opposite in a matter of five minutes or so. But definitely credit to VJJ Thunder because of that. Things just really started connecting. Now a 7,000 net worth lead. Look at the, this dip just going on the other way completely. And I mean, you still have the Aegis on last track. He now has Bloodstone, by the way. They're going to catch FY, so he's going to get a charge in it already. Speaking of that, Storm Spirit does finish his. Right now, he's the only one that's doing any bit of progress. Again, Tiny cannot really do much with the Blink Dagger that he picked up. And same thing with Chalice, really. He got the Blink Dagger and... barely able to get much out of it. Spirit! Not enough follow-up. Path, Dyer's but top shrine is under attack. He's gonna have to be patient here and maybe wait for his teammates to come to try to initiate. Or just cut the creep wave, that works too. Dyer's top shrine has fallen. Oh yeah, top shrine kill as well. An objective gaming at its finest, man. Kind of goes back to the Leshrac and Jakiro pickups. Obviously, both of those heroes. That's what they definitely help bring to the team. 
stable, and clearly that was the mindset for VGJ Thunder. Top tier three already dropping half, half life before LGD gets enough numbers back to the radiant side to fall back for now. There's smoke play from LGD for a pick. Bottom currently. Me middle play, and they're gonna use them as big in the reaction time. Here comes Doris Grid. They do jump flash check that would be a big kill. Avalanche on top of that. They get the kill. Four kill streak stop for Ami getting credit for it. Magnifier on top of the ice cap. Not really hitting anybody though. But some of them out if anything. Meanwhile, FYNX Nova in pursuit of DDC. They lose tiny though in the back lines. It's like Siler. Yeah, he's dealing with the uh, storm really now getting lifted up, but I'm coming out of the shape shift, so we got the kill on tiny. But now he's in trouble, gonna be Vortex pulled back in. They get the kill on Siler as well, and they're gonna kill Fade. A lot of work being done by LGD. Buyback on FY, who did die mi in the midst of it. But Stormsbury adding up with those Bloodstone charges now. Witch Doctor, he's double locked down and killed as a result. Dallas, also being ran at. Somnit does have some hands to work with, but. Gonna be able to bottle up a region or perhaps be the bottom lane. It just profit buys back. He goes down here using that meteor hammer of his, by the way. Which he got very recently. Gonna get some kind of response out of each day thunder. Maybe chase him because Somnus is coming. They want to keep chasing this, they gotta be careful. Somnus almost here. Pipe is ready for Jakiro. Where's the party? Storm spread in the area, but no, not gonna go the way. The yeah, FY will TP out. Alright, so that fight there for the dire side. Put up working out pretty well. They lose Tiny in the end, but obviously the bait plays out in their favor. And Ami's getting close to a BKP, which of course is very key against this rating and lineup. Specifically against the, the Leshrac, but just across the board, being able to walk around in this game, having a BKB going to be nice for that. And, and the cores are getting it across the board, well, at least Tiny and Storm Spirit. Uh, Brewmaster, on the other hand, is building a Radiant, so. Going to be playing for the long run, the Radiant's burn, no doubt useful against Plankin. We'll give him a right click as well. So it is a comfortable 8,000 net worth right now for BJJ Thunder, but LGD, it's, it does feel like they still have some hope here. It's 70, 30 win probability, Thunder's favor. They can manage that Radiance, and the BKB pickups on their cores, because the game is now for Thunder of, don't get too desperate trying to push the base. I mean, their strategy definitely is great for that, but Obviously, if they try it again, and it fails, and things could start turning the other way. So they're going to be safe for now, and at least get the bottom trying. Maybe wait for another Rosha, who, by the way, just respawned here. I'll take your fears fading. Storm Force double damage. A tithe to the impurities. And constantly having to deal with this, where FYs pushing again the meteor hammer the wrath of nature there see the creep wave push the trance as well so once again radiant team having to get back and flesh rack cleared out he's working on his own bkb vision going <laughs> a little scary Reason for him to think he had somebody see here, but oh, he's here. oh my god, spotted him for a split second. Now, I'm thinking it's safe to say they know a ward. He's actually got the gem on the courier. Gem is that? Fade, it looks mostly by the way. Is under attack. Chance for a catch. Die. The courier, they see that. They're wrapping around in the flank. Leshrac's not here with them just yet. Oh, they scan out Leshrac, though. They make it the free pick. They're going to get him. Freeze. 
Oh, over here. No, it's okay. The thing's coming out. <laughs> the bottom lane being pushed in. Somnus now goes the wrong direction. Freeze decides to turn around. And here we go. Bottom push now. Silar going in. Meanwhile, the top lane. Cindy just dropping, doing what he can. But Somnus jumps in. DBC Glimmer kicks in for now. BKB activated by the Storm Spirit. Ame also BKB. And goes right after Silar. Silar just beating down the Manorak. The Manorak will fall right here. And Yang puts down the back fire on top of the dice path. Ames, he's the one dying. Silar, they just can't stop him. He's just right clicking like a boss now. Finally, they get the stun off on him as they lose Witch Doctor as well in the back line. So, and Storm Spirit just has to get back to the to the fountain here. So they lose the bottom racks. The middle's basically already gone. And the objective gaming continues. Oh, that was so close for PGK Thunder, or for LGD, excuse me, to catch. Let's try to get at least to make a play, but wasn't to be, and just like that, the game might be over. Oh, they're gonna go for a bit of a last stand here, but they can't, not much they can do. I honestly think that's the first epicenter of the game, funny enough, but there's Mega Creeps. And BGJ Thunder. No reason not to go nothing but Cutthroat. In fact, GG well played as called, so. Oh, the, the game definitely swung the other way. LGD had the hell of a lead, but again, I go back to that bottom lane specifically, where Somnus was on that five kill streak to start this game, and he got. I do wonder the Kaya pickup as well. I'm not. I'm not. 